You read the title, so you know what it is. Let's get into it. Alright guys, as the title suggests, I'm going to be uh, restoring the headlights on this car here. This is my 2008 Mazda RX-8. I've had it for a few years now. Whenever I first bought it, we buffed the headlights and I didn't put any protective coating on them. So they're starting to fade again. They're getting pretty rough. You can see they're pretty faded and yellow and just all around look bad. So I did buy a kit off of Amazon. I bought the Cerakote ceramic headlight restore and uh this kit does have uh the uv protective coating that goes on once you buff them and clean them so i guess uh, let's just uh well get into it all right so some of the stuff that's in the kit is it comes with this oxidization remover so there's four wipes per headlight what you'll do with those wipes is clean the headlight make sure you got them all done i just washed the car so my headlights are clean but uh then you'll take these wipes and you'll wipe the headlight down uh wipe them until there's no yellow or use all four pads uh it may or may not need all four but i'm gonna wipe those down and then it comes with some sanding paper and a little handheld sander so this is 2000 grit and 3000 grit sandpaper you'll want to sand the headlight and then it actually has a UV ceramic coating that goes on to prevent this from happening again. So I guess let's uh, get started. Oh, I do uh, have some tape. I am gonna tape around the headlight to just trying to keep everything off, the, off of my paint and everything like that. Uh, it's not perfect, but I don't wanna get this stuff all over my paint, keep from sanding any corners or anything. So let's get to taping this off. All right, so I got that uh, taped off. Um, so the first step is gonna be taking this oxidization remover and uh, wiping this down. So let's get to it. All right, I did forget to mention that the uh, kit does come with some gloves. Uh, you don't want to be getting this oxidization remover all over your hands. So obviously put on the gloves that you've seen in the time lapse. And then I only used two wipes. After that second wipe, my headlight, the wipe wasn't getting very dirty. So I just went ahead and stopped. Um, now, once you do this step, you do want to rinse the headlight, clean it off and prep for the next step. So. All right, so once you get the headlight clean, as you can tell, it's already kind of cleared up quite a bit from the other side. So once you get that clean, what you'll need is some water. I've got a spray bottle here with a little bit of soap and water in it. Just a couple drops of soap, mostly water. And you are going to take the 2000 grit sandpaper and your sanding pad, and you are going to sand the headlight in a linear motion. Uh, for some reason they want you to do linear and not circular so i'm just going to follow the instructions and uh, do it their way so once i get that done i will move up to a you'll do this for about two or three minutes or so and then you'll move up to the gray pad which is a 3000 grit and you will do the same thing with that and then i will get back with you after i'm done with that All right guys, as you've seen there, uh, I used both sand pads and kept keeping the headlight wet. Uh, essentially what you're doing are wet sanding any coating or unlevel surfaces off the headlight to make sure it's as smooth as possible for this final coating. Uh, just a couple minutes each on each pad. 
Uh, obviously, if you got some heavy oxidization or some coating that's pretty thick that needs to be smoothed out, you're gonna wanna spend a little more time on the red pad and then finish it off with the gray. Uh, I only use a couple minutes each, but as you can see, that's what it looks like now. Still a whole lot better than that other side. So now for the final coat. The final coating is this uh, ceramic coating. So, and it only comes with two, so one per headlight. So I'll make sure the headlight's dry and then I'll be applying this coating. And yeah, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so as you've seen, that's pretty uh, easy. Uh, do use your gloves. This is uh, like a clear coat kind of coating stuff. Um, you do want to keep this away from any debris. It is going to have to dry. Uh, you shouldn't drive it or anything. The instructions say for at least 60 minutes before you expose to any type of moisture. Uh, I'll probably wait a little bit longer than that, but I am in a garage to so let it sit. Uh, as you can see here, these things with that coating are crystal clear now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them completely dry and then I'll get back with you all to wrap up this video. All right guys, it's been a couple hours now since uh, I've done this headlight. So if you look, it looks brand new and it is dry to the touch. So turned out really good if you ask me. Uh, if you keep an eye on my channel, I'll probably have a review video out for this probably six months to a year, see how this thing holds up. But I'm gonna throw y'all on a time lapse while I do this one. And if you like the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button. My Instagrams will be down in the description. Till next time.